The second one, yes, God is good. This is a place to pray, pray. This, this is, is a place, place to praise, and this is a place where our prophecies come to pass. You got that right. This is the day that the Lord has made. Today is our final service at Moetliff Branch, and you get to come with me. I'm thrilled, I'm excited. I know the enemy is fighting like nobody's business. I already had dilemmas this morning, but I'm not gonna let that, you know, take away my joy or my peace because the peace of God literally is taking over me right now. So I'm just excited about the service. I'm excited about the word. I'm excited um, about celebrating with fellow saints in the Lord and really just sealing the lid. I have a very exciting message coming up this morning. Listen to me when I say you have to hear this one. I'll see you guys when I get to church or when I'm dressed. I'll show you the final look. I look great. I look fabulous. Guys, I'm going to put all the details. Will you go on. say hi? The makeup artist who beat me up this morning. Hey, that's really beat me up. <laughs> cuteness. From where? Wait, wait, Bully's Beauty. Yes, Pala. let me see. Yes, uh, Bully's Beauty Parlor. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. This is no ordinary service, guys. This is a very yes, special honey. service. So I had to get very special assistance <laughs> to make sure that they complete the look for Pastor Eno this morning. Yeah. And I hope that I am looking the part. And um, yeah, let's step it out for Jesus. See you all soon. Good morning. Again, I am dressed, I am ready. I'll show you my full outfit, Shh, guys, when I get to church. Um, like I said, I had a bit of a dilemma this morning. I left my camera in the Uber and I cannot get it. The driver can't find it and he, we suspecting the person who got in the Uber after me is the person who took the camera. So I'm choosing not to focus on that, like I said. Anyway, I want to show you guys the platters, a million millions got. Uh, not for church, but for you know any of our special guests who will be joining us um, after the church service. Let me show you real quick. No so there we go. Mommy, there's no space for this, mommy. You're gonna carry it. Look at that. But like, I've, like this is no so 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 amazing. How thoughtful of million millions. Thanks, guys. So yeah. So I'm going to go to church, like I said, I'm going to choose to focus on that and I know that there's no way something great and something big can happen without oppositions. No, there's no code, but so yeah, and, and I'm okay and I'm at peace about that. And how often do we go through challenges and we're okay with it? Mommy, mommy, not. How often? Right? Uh, Melissa, Mashida, let's go. And um, we often don't celebrate or embrace trial and disappointment, but at this point, I choose to be okay with it because. I just have to trust in God that all things work together for my good um, because I love the Lord and um, I just have to be positive and, you know, take the right energy into church, take the right spirit into church, have the right attitude going into church this morning and deliver what needs to be delivered. And that's just what it is. God bless you guys. We'll see you. We're getting on the road now. Kids, are you ready for church? Are you ready for church? Are you ready for church? 
leaders always always on the job. Leaders always on the job. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Girl, why are you nervous? I'm nervous. The service is on. I'm in the pastor's office and I am nervous. My heart is beating fast. Guys, when your sister literally packs the entire church all by herself, oh my gosh, she's like, I'm gonna clean this church. This is my time. Cho. Look how well she packed these chairs. We have to leave the place clean and neat, you know. As you can see, there's the bike. And I realize mm -hmm. why am I leaving this thing standing? This is no longer Church of the Valley. So let's see how far we can go. There's gonna be a struggle. Okay. So I think I'm gonna take uh, 
Yeah, okay, I need, a, I, need, I need a step later for this. But this must come down. Okay, guys, I'm home. Well, my sister's home is my home too. Don't matter. The makeup is half gone. The lace is lifted, but it's okay. <laughs> I remember big on stage and I just felt like a lash is falling. The minute I touched it, it landed on my hands. Didn't have to pull. Nothing. It literally <laughs> just landed. I was like, so you were just waiting for me anyway. Um, so we home now. We need to go and try look for my camera. The only solution that I'm trying to think of now is, am I fine with this flip flops? This is it. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, we, you know, <laughs> need to complete the mission now. Yeah. So you we, and Marsh, we're going to try and in the villa. We're going to uh, try and go to the location of the rider <laughs> who got in the car just after me because it's literally opposite my sister's house like the complex opposite so it means less than five minutes there was someone who also sat at the back and the camera was right there on the seat it could only be that person because his driver checked after i dropped off this person there was nobody else in the uber so i'm not accusing them of stealing i mean they took but it's still theft because listen it's not yours just go get them okay. so we're gonna get we're gonna try and get, get you that address camera. i mean if we don't win we're gonna go to the police station open the case at least we have the address we don't have the recipient's name hopefully uber can help us in terms of the name of the person who went in the uber um etc and i mean the driver can be a witness because the person was sitting at the back and he might have i i won't say anything guys but i'm optimistic uh may the lord be with us as we go on this adventure ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. like she's sleeping and she's holding her head like a real stressed person look at that she's out guys look at what my sister is doing but arranging my my flowers yes i've never ever done this i literally just dump my flowers in there so you know like an entire there's no formula there's no season this up please donate scissors no where are our scissors baby we have two scissors yeah, kitchen the scissors the guy and to be able to guy yeah make sure you remove the leaves okay and always cut like if you've got a scissor you cut like this and then, oh is it yeah after two days change your water and completely your, fresh water yeah keep your water your flowers with some something um Oh, you want to give them food. Oh, what? Sugar. Sugar. Yeah. So, thank you, Pastor P. This is dinner. Oh, it's lunch. But it's going to be. Let's put on some lights. Put on the lights. Okay, there we go. This looks, this looks so healthy. Are we health arising? We are health arising. We want to be able to preach for two hours non stop. Okay. When I talk about the blood of Jesus for two hours. Non stop, so we must watch what we eat. So, we're eating tomato. <laughs> good morning, good morning. I'm a pastor, of course, I'm gonna open my vlog at church. <laughs> good morning, hope that you are. We're about to start with our service. Welcome to another one. It's a brand new day. Um, yes, we're in Moy Clue for our last service, and this is our very first service back in Metro. I hope that you will enjoy this. Um, the service, come on. How does it feel to be back? How does it feel to be back? Different. <laughs> Don't you feel like a return soldier? I feel like a return soldier. <laughs> and um, who went to the army? Like chat. So much work is on job work here. Yeah. yeah. Just from the moment I drove in, I was like, Lord, give us the grace, you know. It's a lot. And a part of me also, I just said, I'm like, God, maybe that's why we need one effort here. This yeah. Much Hands on deck. Focus. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah to Jehovah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. beginning you at the end give him the glory one more time hallelujah that 
morning we thank you we celebrate you may be seated in the presence of God I won't be long with my declaration I only have one scripture and I sit down it's good to be back home hallelujah, hallelujah. can we just give the Lord a shout of praise somebody hallelujah blessed be the name of the king hallelujah the declaration this morning says no amount of shaking can undo the promises God has towards us mm, my God no amount of shaking and, and moving and a turbulence that can happen in our life will undo the promise that God has in store for us. I don't know if you heard me, but I say what God has in store for you. That means that what God has for you is unfinished business. He's still in the business of blessing you in abundance. He's still in the business of unfolding his promises for you. So it doesn't matter the kind of shaking or the moving or the shifting that you are going through, but there's nothing that can possibly happen in your life that can even filter or change the promises that God has in store for you. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to our scripture this morning. God, we thank you. I'd like to greet the church in the name that's above every other name, the name of Jesus, the leaders of the church. We greet you. We celebrate you. Hallelujah. We celebrate uh, our worshipers, our leaders, Pastor P. What's up, Pastor? God is good. I greet Moe Kluf, you know, in our past. <laughs> I see Mrs. Makani today. You know, she came with English songs. I'm like, you are so Moe Kluf, you can't even help it. <laughs> Hallelujah. We will be okay. Isaiah 54, verses 10. The Bible says, Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet, listen to this one, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken. Listen to this. No, my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord. Mm, 
I wish I could read that again no, because no. you see the promises of God are so great and abundant that you have to understand them in order to walk in the fullness of these promises. You can't claim a promise that you don't know, but yet you can claim a promise because you know God promised me this word. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the King. The Bible says, though the mountains be shaken, so there's going to be a shaking. Can we get a chair for my sister? She's my sister. Hallelujah. Somebody clap hands for her. This is Alice. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Though the mountains be shaken, that means that there will be a shaking. And, and, and the reference to a mountain shows that the things that will be shaken are big. Shows that the things that are going to be shaken, they seem like they'll never be shaken. But they will be shaken at some point in your life. you got to feel a little bit uncomfortable. You have to be put out of place from a place where you think this is my natural belonging. But though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, the Bible says yet. Somebody say yet. 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 My unfailing love and my covenant of peace. covenant, Listen, the Lord has a covenant with you and it's called the covenant of peace. That means you'll never be separated from the covenant of peace in your life. The mountains will move, the hills will move, but the covenant remains. The unfailing love remains. This is why we are still standing after the shaking because the covenant remained. The unfailing love remained. All right, let's declare. We can get up on our feet. I'm done. Let's declare. Woo, God. We exalt your holy name. Shaya Bahaya Makasaya. I feel the presence of God in this place. And I believe that the covenant of God is going to be restored in our lives in the name of Jesus. You see, it's so easy to recover the things of this world. But a covenant with God is not that easy. Because a covenant is a spiritual thing. It's a connection of something with God. It's a covenant. It includes the blood of Jesus. So when you understand a covenant, you understand I'm not retrieving a phone that I lost. I'm not retrieving a car that I lost. This is a covenant type of thing. And it's being restored back to myself. That means you are being restored to who you are. You are being restored to what you have been formed for. You are being restored to what you have been created for. So the fullness of who you are begins to manifest in the lives of the people. You begin to live a life of fullness and abundance because you have been restored. Okay. Let's declare. We love you, Jesus. All right, say this after me. I receive the Lord's love and covenant of peace. I receive the Lord's love and covenant of peace. The steadfast love of the Lord will not depart from me, from my children, from my family. This covenant of peace with God will not, will not, will not be removed from me and everything and everyone concerning me. Somebody say, I receive an abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Somebody say, I reign in life through Jesus. You have been qualified to reign in the season. You have been qualified to reign in the season through Jesus Christ, through the covenant of the blood of Jesus, through the cross of Calvary. We are closing. I am being strengthened with all power according to his might. I have great endurance and patience through Jesus Christ. Although the mountains be shaken and the hills 
be removed. God has given me the spirit of a sound mind. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but that of power, love, and self-discipline. Come on, somebody. You gotta worship the Lord God Almighty this morning. We love you, Jesus. will pray when God shall move and things shall happen upon your life it's through this prayer in your life that will change and break the yoke it will break the yoke God has sent you into this city God has sent you into this province to break the yoke therefore it is this covering today that will break the yoke here are the young people. The next come, come, the next come, generation. come, my love, come. Oh, you join, come. Here yeah, are my young people. We come. Be strong, ready or not. Here yeah, are the young people. Young and young. Beautiful. Okay, say the valley. Say the valley. Pasheli Kona. I picked this is from Owamza, baby. Thank you. This is cute. That's from your ninja, baby. This is from the ninja. What say what say what the thank you so much, friend. Thank you so much, my love. Um, guys, so as you know, today was my first service back in Madrid thoughts thoughts of the day thoughts for the Sunday I'm at my sister's house again like my husband always says like my Sundays she just love how I did my makeup by the way my sister says my makeup looks very nice I just haven't worn lashes how ironic that Melissa brings lashes from Oami because wow um, I, I don't have lashes anymore it's like they've all disappeared so yeah anyway I DIY'd myself proper today um yeah i mean the service was great it felt a bit weird you know um because it's it's different you know it's a different atmosphere it's a different vibes different place different location it's different people a part of me was so concerned with again lord what's going to happen with all these people now you know but also then the lord reminded me that remember these are my people not your people you are just a servant who was obedient to the assignment and now the assignment is done so the mandate is greater and bigger and so the same way that i've brought those people there i will continue to take care of them so my heart is at peace my heart is at peace i did enjoy the service it felt like i'm back home uh, my general consensus of the day was that there is work to be done in Midrand. A lot of work to be done. I come with a fresh mind. I come with my mind renewed. I come with new ideas, fresh ideas. And really God has expanded me in terms of my thinking, my thoughts, the space, um, you know, that, that we need to be in. And so God has shown us where we can go even far, far, further, actually broader and bigger. And that's exactly what I think my role is to implement and to to really pray for for those plans to be established okay so I had another gift from church that I want to show you guys real quick guys can I show you my outfits check these cute pictures that my sister took of me because pictures on this door they like the best uh, let's go through this gift that I got I feel like I'm always like we got a gift. This comes from my young people. Lebron gave it to me, but she says it's from her and the youth at church. You okay, CC, yes, it? please help me open the gift. Can you please be in my vlog for a change? Maybe I'll get Yo, new subscribers. <laughs> How you doing? My name is Melissa. How you Mashida, doing? A.K.A. Millie Millions. How you better count the zeros because that's what time it is. Okay. Ah! Okay, let's open my sister's gift, mm -hmm. which I didn't get. <laughs> First one. First one. Oh, oh no, girl. I am very content, honey. I love it, I love it, it's I love it, I love it. I think it looks like this. Yeah, right one face. Got it? Yes. Thank you so much. That's a cute cup. If you know me, you know that I'm a tea person. I love my tea. More guys, I've been crying for 
diverse lab and lo and behold i received two the previous week and i received another two, two. last week and now this is an additional two so i officially have six vast labs for <laughs> preachings <laughs> and then i have chocolates and a card please read the card for me cc okay because your english is better than mine Never. it is long my way it is long okay through your preachings you've shown us the true meaning of faith may you continue to be a shining example of faith love and compassion in all that you do pastor innocent a woman with many talents mm. she wears the coat of many colors wow. she is beautiful and highly favored she is called by the almighty her steps are ordered by the lord she is a mouthpiece for the lord whatever she touches becomes a success mm. whatever she declares comes to pass sure she's a very anointed woman of god mm. you did absolutely amazing at moikluf thank you for your unwavering dedication and service your leadership and guidance you truly made a lasting impact love you love zamana oh thank you so much you're love so it. sentimental you're so sweet what up guys go follow our youtube channel the sadiki family channel okay go follow it oh my go goodness how cute is this it says handmade it's so warm. This right? is so pretty. It's from the car. I need to close this vlog. So, thank you so much for joining me. Please put all of this. Thank you for joining me for two incredible Sundays. One where we had our last service in Moekluf. And another one where we have our first service back in Midrand. God is faithful through each and every season. I still declare and decree that this is our season. This is our year. This is our time. And we are going to occupy, take space, take dominance. And we are going to continue to walk in the light of God. Thank you for subscribing, liking, uh, sharing the videos. And for your feedback, for the comment section, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for the myself. super thanks. Oh, thanks for the super thanks. Thank you for everyone gave me a super thanks. Uh, uh, Emma Sadiki wants to give you a quick word. Oh, I do? Yes, a quick word quickly just to close. Come on, give them with a bang. What is the Lord saying in this hour? Come on. He's saying that anything is possible with God. Come on. Yes. Amen. Anything is possible with God And that's a word that you need to take on to this week I love you, God bless you for myself Innocent And myself, Emma